The lower level of the pavilion, cut more than a metre deep into the earth, is lined with cork, a nod to the archaeology of its 11 predecessors below, while its roof is filled with a shallow pool of water, creating a mirror of the London sky. The artist Ai Weiwei was absent from both the building and unveiling of his work, and as a result of his problems back home, he may never see his creation in London. As a result of his criticisms of the Chinese government, Ai Weiwei is under constant surveillance and has been forbidden from leaving Beijing. About a year ago, he was arrested and held for three months on charges of tax evasion. And so this most creative and yet most restricted of artists contributed to this extraordinary project by using Skype. The pavilion's architecture, Ai Weiwei says, is not only about space and shape, but about the circumstances we find ourselves in, our mental state and our political background. Another Chinese government critic, the blind activist Chen Guan Chen, has fled the country and taken up an academic post in the United States. In New York yesterday, he said he believed the Chinese government was slowly moving in the right direction on human rights, largely as a result of the internet and Twitter. But he said this from the freedom of exile. The power of social media is something Ai Weiwei deploys in his protests against the Chinese authorities, and they in turn seek to limit and censor his activities. Under such restrictions, I asked him whether there was any chance he could come to London to see his work. Um, I like to come to London uh, to be able to see it um, as an uh, architect. Uh, we, we are responsible um, to, to what we have been uh, intend to do and uh, also we, we would like to see how other people um, enjoy or criticize it. And, but of course, uh, my current condition is not allowing me to travel. What's your current condition? What's life like for you every day? <laughs> my current condition is a kind of condition I myself is not very clear. Uh, it's funny to say it's a, uh, I still uh, living a, a kind of, uh, house uh, arrest uh, stage, but uh, it's called a uh, kind of probation. But I never really face a formal arrest or f uh, a formal accusation. And uh, th that's my current condition, which forbid me to travel. My, my action has been uh, carefully watched and, uh, by, by authorities. My phone is tapped, my, you know, all my activities are regulated. So life is not very easy. In terms of your art, how important is Twitter as a medium for your art? Because you have got a massive following on Twitter. Um, of course, my, all my internet activity is forbidden. And, but uh, I still uh, manage to jump on Twitter. And uh, Twitter is completely uh, shut off. In China, you have to um, get on through a special technology. And uh, I work on that. And also, uh, I can also focus on some, uh, some other kind of art activities. Do you think the West is doing enough to encourage these trends in China? Or is the West rather frightened to speak out because of China's economic power? <laughs> uh, yes, this is a very clear phenomenon, West. Uh, but also, uh, West should remember to 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 promote and to protect the basic rights and to uh, insisting on human rights. Chen Guancheng said in New York yesterday he was optimistic that things would get better in China. Do you share his optimism? Um, we all share the same, um, same hope. We think China uh, is changing and it's going to be uh, changing more dramatically. Um, 
But I, I don't think uh, any state can sacrifice those very essential uh, way like freedom of expression or free freedom of uh, communication to achieve uh, real um, uh, social uh, development. Uh, we can see China today still uh, lacking of uh, creativity, uh, lacking of uh, com uh, real competition, and uh, trying to get uh, its uh, profit and uh, values from very short, uh, very short-sighted uh, act, and uh, which uh, is not going to be a long-lasting uh, result. And as you know, Chen Guanchen has left China. Are you going to remain? I'm still a Chinese. I have still have to solve the problem here in China. Despite the difficulties that you face every day? Um, uh, yes, those uh, difficulties are sometimes uh, very uh, unbearable, but uh, still, it gives some meaning uh, to be here uh, because uh, those difficulties are not only uh, to me but also to a lot of people here. Ai Weiwei, thank you very much. Thank you.